Now I'm with Gary Lohman. He's a VP of Exploration. Gary, can you talk about, these are XRF results, correct? Uh, correct. Uh, we do that uh, just as a quick test to see, um, you know, what results we can expect. We've done it under controlled circumstances before and found that the XRF um, is fairly representative compared to assays. But again, the assays are certifiable and they're they're the proper result to use for any modeling or any other exploration we're doing. Gary, could you uh, talk about some of the other mineralization you're seeing? Like I'll say historically, the wedge mine is primarily copper. But in uh, our drilling, um, in the last few years, we've intersected significant amounts of lead zinc. And with that, we're getting silver and gold. So there is, uh, there is a distinct, some separation of the mineralogy within the um, uh, system itself. Now, um, I believe that uh, this is an old mine, uh, the wedge mine, correct? So is there historical data that you're able to leverage there? Yes, this was uh, initially mined by Kaminko back in the 60s. And we did manage to find a lot of the historical Kaminko uh, drill data, in including all the lithology, like the rock types and the assays. And that's um, provided us a good basis for modeling. And with that, we've added in our own drilling and assaying and our downhole uh, geophysical results, our borehole EM. So it gives us a good 3D picture of what we have beneath the surface and allows us to you know, efficiently plan uh, our next drill program. Can you bring us up to date over um, uh, the last year or so? What have you been modeling? Uh, what uh, trends have you been following on the project? Uh, basically, we've been at the mine itself, at the old mine. Uh, we've been working with all the, th that data there, but we've also, as you've seen in probably our press releases, we've extended along the, the wedge VMS trend to the northwest up towards the Tribag and West Wedge. That was covered by Time Domain EM survey and plate modeling and we have target plates up by tribag and west wedge and that area is a long trend same magnetic uh, structure and we know there is uh, surface mineralization in the area and indications of mineralization in previous drilling there's a few odd holes but none of it was to any depth at all most of it uh, when we actually modeled the plates with the holes some were actually um, the azimuth was in the opposite direction. What's the metallurgy like? Uh, that's, <laughs> we found with the XRF, the, the samples were very fine grained pyrite. And like you can visually, we could not see a lot of copper in the hand specimens. And I was quite surprised at how much is actually there. It is very fine grained. Um, the calcopyrite usually bright yellow, but we did not see a lot of it. There'd be little streaks here and there, but some of the samples that came back when you're getting, you know, five, five to 10 percent, I think I was shocked at how little I could see in my hand specimens. Now, would this be the same type of material that was running through the mine uh, back when it was operating or uh, it's just because you, you would have some indications of what it would be uh, that you'd be mining? This would, this would be similar type material. If I remember correctly, they were you're mining. I think they were mining around two percent copper. So in from old drill results, I've seen high grade sections of, you know, five and 10 feet of three, four, five percent. So this would be uh, like probably similar material. Gary, I think that's a good place to leave it. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much.